Hey everyone, Trey here. Um, I wanted to show a little example of how to use Siri shortcuts. Um, and I see a lot of questions about what to do with loop when your sensor is warming up. And the answer is you can put your BG values into Apple Health. And for various reasons, sometimes that can be a little cumbersome. So we make a shortcut and this is, so this will be kind of an intro to Apple shortcuts and also how you can uh, log your BG very easily into Apple Health this way. Uh, I'm just showing you here that I do have a couple entries already uh, on my Apple Health, and I'm going to get rid of them. So you'll see I have none. Um, and then I'm going to go into my Shortcuts app, which is this app from the App Store. That one right there. Just go to the App Store and download it. And it's a scripting language um, to basically write little programs. Um, so here we go. Do create a shortcut. And in the top right, we're going to touch the sliders there, the two sliders in the top right, and touch the name. And I'm going to just name it log BG. You can name it whatever you want. You can change the icon colors and stuff like that, or put pictures, whatever. Uh, you can add it to Siri so that you can verbally log it. And um, the show widget is how we use it, and I'll show you that at the end. So just hit Done. And now we have to build our program. And there are many ways to do this. There's a shorter way to do this that I'm going to show you, but I'm trying to show you several little pieces. So first thing we're going to do is ask a question. So that is ask for input. So we'll choose that, and the question is going to be, what's your BG? And we need to tell it that it's a number, because that's what we're going to ask for. And then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to set that to a variable. So we search for set V, and that gives us the set variable command. We'll name it V for variable and then BG. Then again, this is another step you don't have to take, but I'm just kind of demoing. We're going to tell the system I want the current date and time. And then now we want to make a call to Apple Health, if I can type it correctly. And you can see there's a uh, function for log health sample. So we're going to do that. And there's lots of types, but we're going to choose, obviously, blood glucose. And the value, if you'll recall, we made a variable, remember, for that from our question, VBG. So we choose that. And that's going to send that to that function. We're not specifying a meal time. And the date and time, we're going to use the date right there in the middle from our function call earlier. And that's technically it. it. It will be done. It will work here. But I'm going to go ahead and pop up a little alert also, just kind of as a confirmation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it alert what my, my BG was. That's the VBG variable. And this is just a pop up on the screen. I don't need it to ask that question. And I don't need a cancel button. And that's it. So if I hit done, you can see my yellow icon there on the bottom, log BG. So I'll go ahead and touch that. What's your BG? I'll do 176. OK. 176 BG logged. And then touch OK. Now if I go back to Apple Health, you'll see there's my 176. Show all data. 176. OK, now the widget, because I have shortcuts on my widget screen on the far left, there's my new yellow button. So you can imagine if you are if you want to log in, you're on your home screen, you can just swipe left, hit log BG. I'm at 227. OK, and I'm done. So that's kind of why I like the shortcuts. It's that fast, and it's that easy. 
Plus, you can get advanced in program Siri so that you can just speak it. Speak it into your watch if you have an Apple Watch, etc. All right, that's it. There's a lot that you could do with these. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show a little example of how you can log your BG because that's a common thing here for us loopers. Have a good one.